Okay. Hello, hello, hello to everybody who is here, not here, will be, has been. Uh, streaming during the day? That's weird. But yes, I am streaming during the day today. I just felt like playing uh, Skyrim after yesterday's stream, which was bad. <laughs> it was bad, let's be honest with everybody. It was a bad stream. I like fell apart, I fell asleep playing Paper Mario, basically. So I just wanted to play some Skyrim. Uh, because, so. Uh, it'll just be me alone with my thoughts. It'll be fun. I added a couple. I added a couple new mods, um, mostly just visual mods, and then I added <laughs> this one. Uh, this one armor mod, which uh, it's like a, it's from the, the it's from the MMO uh, Terra Online, which I did used to play forever ago. And boy, do they look ridiculous in this game! So I can't wait to be able to craft those. I also forgot that I added a uh, unarmored, uh, a unarmed hand-to-hand -hand, um, mod, so I can actually get like perks for it. But I think I need to equip something. Let's see if I can find it. I remember it was saying something like, I need to equip something or other. Well, we'll worry about that later. Let's go, I don't know, do something. Let's go see if that person ever showed up to um, the Brine Hammer for that one quest. Because I'd like to do that. Let's see. These new people, these regular people. Yeah, I shut up. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me unless you're a custom NPC. Don't talk to me. I don't care what you have to say. I don't care. You're not going to give me a unique quest. You don't have a million lines of dialogue that I'm going to sit and listen to. Don't talk to me. Let's see, so did she ever show up? Is she here? Did she die? She's just not fucking here. Cool. So I have no idea what that quest is all about. Oh, clamps. Because she just doesn't show up. I, I wonder if she died. Or if she got stuck somewhere. So we'll go somewhere else. Let's go to... Well, we haven't been to Morthal. Let's go to Morthal. Let's see if anybody else is there that can give us some cool things to do. I should probably start the quest, like the main quest, to actually beat it. Oh. Yeah, it's chugging. Oh well. We're going to ignore these people because I don't care about them. We don't care. I did add, like I said, I added some like environmental mods and they might cause issue. But we'll see. Okay, I need to probably mark Morthal on my map or I'm going to get lost. Like, surprise, I got lost. We need to go back, <laughs> we'll go back this way. I wonder if that thing was added to my inventory. I don't think it was. Maybe I have to set it up. Oh, it doesn't look like it. I have a weather reset. I also added this too. Let's see. Well, it should be on. It was supposed to add like this weightless item that I have to equip to start earning stuff for the unarmored. 
but I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. So. I'm gonna un actually undo this quest because I don't know if I'll ever complete that quest or ev ever do anything with it because she's just not there. Ooh, a horse? Well, don't mind if I do. I'm gonna st <laughs> well, I'm gonna take your horse, sir. Thank you. Thank you for donating your horse. second time I found a horse which is a dead bandit you know I think it's a, I think it's the same one actually I think it's the same exact one because I swear I found I went this way a couple streams ago and I found a dead bandit with a horse oh no a bandit what if I just oh no <laughs> can't Reigns get him Rains, get him! What the fuck are you doing? You're useless. I've had enough of you! Well, I've had enough of you, you asshole. I'm just trying to get to Morthal. Mind my own goddamn business. And they're like, bitch. Huh, it's getting really dark. Is there another- There's another horse. There's another fucking horse. Whose horse is that? Is that the bandit's horse? It sure is. Oh, I kind of feel bad now. <laughs> I kind of feel bad. Poor horse. It's going to stay there forever. Dead, dead man's respite. Nice. We're not going in there. What the fuck? Oh, the pygmy trolls. <laughs> I went to get something to sick and I'm. S I to drink and I'm still sick. I uh, I feel like it, it's that's kind of how that works. Where's my horse? Come here. Don't go back. We've lost reins, everybody. I don't know where the fuck he went. Oh my god! Oh, fuck these! Fuck these! Uh, I'm not fighting. It's like it's like Paper Mario all over again. I don't want to fight these these enemies. I just want to get the Morthal. Maybe we'll find a cool NPC there. Oh, a bear and a little and a little cub. Fa oh, it's a feral bear. But I'm feral. Oh, I killed my horse. What the fuck? Except for now, you sneeze and cough, and you can't feel your tongue. Sounds like a really bad cold. Uh. Hello there, fellow traveler. One itinerant minstrel and wandering wastrel. No, I want to know where the fuck Reigns went. Just dipped out. Yeah, this is uh this is definitely how you're supposed to traverse the land, right? Uh fuck roads. We're just gonna we're just gonna make our own way. There's one part of my tongue I can feel though, and that's because I bit the part where I sneeze. Ugh, that sounds awful. That 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 sounds awful. Is this Morthal? I don't want to be here. I say don't want to be here after I've traversed like mountains to get here. I got okay. I got. I would have played more Paper Mario last night, but I got lost. I couldn't figure out how to find the Koopa Village, so I was just like, "Fuck this! I'm not." I'm done. And I googled it and it didn't help. So I I stopped. I'm like, I don't know how to get to 
<laughs> the Cooper Village. Were you good? Did you see my mother? I'm still waiting for her to come home. Do I look like I know your mom? I don't. Sorry. Your mom might be. De your mom might be dead. Is there any audio? Oh yeah, there is. How are we supposed to feel safe in our I don't care, actually. The reason that the first two games, Chapter 1 is based on getting to a castle or fortress. I, I, got, I got lost. I couldn't figure it out. I wanted to play more, but I was just like, no. And then I was like falling asleep because I was so tired. What is it, Sajid? I used to be an adventurer like you. But we'll play more next week. Because I plan on playing um, Pokemon tomorrow night. Let me guess. Some install you. Anybody cool in here? Like in the <laughs> in the jail? No. Absolutely fucking nothing. Sick. Let's see. I don't have any real goal. I just like want to find all the custom NPCs in this game <laughs> to see what they say to me. I bet you I'll find one at an inn. It's a house. These are all houses. These are not going to help me. Uh, let's see. I can make some le leather at least. The criminals are dead, and I was sleeping. Rains, can you stop, like talking to me while I'm busy? That's so creepy. Yeah, well, since I have a GameCube emulator, I do plan on playing. Yeah, I'm gonna play. I plan on playing the uh, Pokemon Coliseum game since I love those games. Uh, well, I love the first one. Second one. Mm. Second one's alright. First one's great. So I definitely will be doing that. I st I have both of them still. I don't have the box for um, Pokemon XD anymore, but I still have the box for uh, Pokemon Coliseum. Dude, can I just not hear shit? Because that seems really low for me. Who is this bard? It's low for the my voice and the game. Turn. I'm gonna turn up the audio for me, and then turn the game audio up as well. This happens sometimes, and I don't. I fucking don't know why. Here, how about now? Are we good? Can you hear me? Am I loud as shit? How about now? How about now? We good? You're going to hear like every little detail now because there we go. Okay. The game. What about the game audio? Right now it's just ambient noise. So I don't know how that's going to come out. But now that I have that turned up really loud, you might hear planes flying like every 10 seconds. 
Uh, let's see. The townsfolk would probably disagree with you about Lurberk. How long have you worked at the inn? Have you heard many bards besides Lurberk? Lurbuck? Good for sale. Uh, I don't know. Townsfolk would probably disagree with you about Lurbuck. Why haven't I done the quest of the f Fandel yet? Because I, I haven't gotten back to Riverwood yet. I've been too busy wandering around. A bard ahead of his time. That's right. You and me. We're the only ones who got a set of ears that work. All of these other fools got cabbage for brains and leeks in their ears. You're, so, you're a salty wench. No, that's rude to say. You're not like the other inmates. Okay. Oh, okay. I didn't ask, but whatever. It's like that one idiotic friend you have in your friend group that's cool but gets very confused by like everything and straight up admits it. Uh, you're right. Except for I'm not cool. I just, I do get confused about. Excuse me about that. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be that loud. Sir, he's not. She's not gonna fuck you. Who are you? Stop talking. Who? Who are you? Are you the local blacksmith? Curve swords? He uses a hammer fell. <laughs> What's curved swords? What's next? Square shields? A uh, specialty shop? You heard right, Sarah. The idea is to make this the only place in Skyrim that specializes in quality swords and armor made of Tamarca. Unfortunately, it's been hard to get equipment shipped here to Morthal, even with the East Empire's company of stones throw away. So, as of now, I can only sell what I can craft. Am I the only one that thinks his voice is too low? Like, too quiet? Is it just me? Because I feel like some of these NPCs, they're too quiet. And I'm like, huh? Speak up. I can't hear you. Uh, I was under the impression a good craftsman never blames his tools. I do like his voice though. Uh, I just. <laughs> Sir, can you speak up? I can't hear you. <laughs> my mistake. I was. I suppose I'm just naturally suspicious. Uh, yeah, my mistake. I'm not gonna be rude. Well, I wasn't paying attention. What are you saying? Huh? Care less about them. It's funny he, you're just here to listen to you be stupid. Also, if I want, ever want to follow along, I'll use subtitles. I'm just saying for me, they're too quiet for me. Like, uh, what? I can't hear you. Uh, Phaleon let you set up ship. Shut up, ship. <laughs> let you set up near his home. I can't fucking read. If you don't have a quest, I don't care, actually. That being said, the very same rumors make Fairian more welcoming to outsiders. Being a fellow Redguard doesn't hurt. 
Happy request. Not to mention spell swords can use hidden Actually, I don't care. I'm so, sorry. Like I said, all in all, not an ideal situation. Uh -huh. but not entirely a bad what do one. the rumors say that about man. whatever? I don't give a shit. Oh, the townsfolk say he raises the dead and molests. Excuse me? Like that. What the fuck is wrong with this mod? <laughs> What the fuck? Aren't your skills needed in the Hammerfell? What if the Thalmor invaded? Did you see that guy just fucking teleport? Actually, the Thalmor are precisely why I'm here in Skyrim. As Somerset Isle and Hammerfell are divided only by a narrow sea, many say that our kingdom is the vanguard what? in the defense. What is up with that guy in the background? <laughs> During the height of the war, blacksmiths were said to be in high demand as the Dominion spread its tendrils over the southern coast. Riveting. However, after the second Treaty of Stros Nikaya was signed, there became a surplus of weapons and a sudden shortage of Thalmor. So, what happened to the blacksmiths? Many of us were forced to become farmers, or worse. Who are you? Excuse me, ma'am. What? I've never seen you before. When Ulfric started uh, sorry, I don't give a shit about you. Who is that lady? Who are you? How can I help you? How about we play together? Sure. What would you like to play? <laughs> uh, I'll play the loot. Ah, that's a good request. I can play that for you. <laughs> We're just doing this on the fucking stairs. I'm awful. What was that? Okay. Uh, thanks for jamming with me to on the stairs. <laughs> that that's so funny. I think it's hilarious. Uh well Lerberk A new face. Uh well he trained at the Bard's College in I'm a bard. I'm a bard. Bard's College in Solitude. I'm a bard. Shut up. Shut up. Play with me. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Okay. There's nothing to fear. Oh Lord, but the right. How can I help you? What's the word around town? One of them urchins asked if I really got an oblivion gate between my legs. I told her no. But your mother does spitting out Deidre like you. Excuse me? Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm gonna go do that quest. In a river wood. What was river? <laughs> Have I ever been to Riverwood? It's Helgen. I have never been to Riverwood. Nope, so I guess we'll have to fast travel this way. <laughs> Oof. Oh, whoops. Let's go do that quest. Get that out of the way. Oof. Yeah, I think one of those mods is fucking things up. Might have to get rid of some of them. Jesus, yeah, it's definitely one of those. I think it's probably the grass mod, I bet you. If I were a betting man, it would be the grass mod. Oof. Yeah. What? Did you see that? Did somebody, please someone tell me they saw that. What the fuck was that? What is happening? Uh, <laughs> okay. Cool. Uh, I need to remember to
remember to clip that because that was really funny. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. <laughs> what the fuck? That that was hilarious. Oh my god. I loved it. I love that. See, things like that make Skyrim like the best game ever. Okay, hold on. It's this is make this is up this is making me very annoyed. I'm gonna real quick uninstall those mods and then come back in because I think that's what the issue is. So hold on, give me a second while I do that. Because I think it's the grass mods that are giving me issue. And I'm just going to uninstall all of the environmental mods that I downloaded. Because it already sometimes chugs a little bit. And I don't want it to chug more. Let's see. Um, it was... I think it was unique grasses and ground covers. Yeah, that should do it. Hopefully. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna look up just real quick the unarmored, like what I need. Because it says something about how I add something to my inventory. Hmm. Let me see. You do do their own scams and these are craftful. Oh, okay. Okay, so I need to craft it. Is that okay? Let's see. Let's let us see if that fixed the issue I was having. Hopefully it does. Even though it just told me I skipped a frame a second ago, I don't know how. I'm gonna close shit down and see if that helps. Alright. Let's try this again. Yep. I know, I took out I took the mod out. Okay. That kind of sucks. But at the same time, I kind of expected that. I didn't. I figured it was going to give me issues. <laughs> so does your pitch, boy. Didn't I tell you last time to be more specific? If you want someone's business, Point out the stain on their chest plate or the blood on their boots. I don't think that matters, really. But you don't have any stains on your chest plate. Go tend to the chickens, boy. Hey, what's up? You in need of a companion, friend? Well, then you're in luck. I reckon I've killed more men than there are minutes in a day. 
<laughs> Murderer guards guard. You killed more than fourteen hundred and forty men. I think by minutes you mean hours. What do I mean? You mean mud crabs? But you, huh? At this rate, I guess I better change it to seconds then. <laughs> I don't like this guy's voice, to be honest. It kind of freaks me out. What brought you to Skyrim? The Horkers, my friend. The Horkers. Oh, it's this is um that a one girl's companion. I'm pretty sure. It's because that one girl we were supposed to meet her at the Brine Hammer. She never showed up. Could use some carrots, maybe some minced onion. You keep talking like that, and we'll need to get you an apron and a chef hat. Also, horkers. You're in the wrong place. Remember what isn't exactly the horker capital of Skyrim. That isn't it. You see, I've tried stews of all different flavors from all over Tamriel. I've tried your venisons and your steaks. I've tried your bug meat. Your horror pies and chorus nuggets. That doesn't sound good at all. Some wood elf charlatan even tried to sell me what he called a wyvern steak, but it tasted like mountain goat. <laughs> okay, dude. I've tried every meat from the Somerset Isles to the shores of Solstein and ate nothing compared to a fresh pot of horror stew. But you know what I haven't tried? Okay. I haven't tried a dragon. And call me crazy, but I think I saw one fly this way not long ago. <laughs> There's a dragon at Hel Helgen. You probably saw that one. Then we shall hunt a dragon together and dine on its flesh. Well, there's still the problem of the scales. We need to find a way in. Unless you plan on using your teeth. Um, I might take him instead of... You've got a little too much help with you, friend. Wouldn't want to swing and hit your companion. Lose the weight and we'll talk. Okay, Reigns. Um... I, you gotta go. Speak. Uh... You need to go. Hold the promise to the people that the Yarns refused to keep. The bandits, the guards. You gotta go. Stop. I don't care. What? <sighs> I want you to go. I want you to leave me alone. Okay, here goes. Go. Goodbye. I don't know if, when I'll be able to find him again. But I want this guy now. Let's go. I was kind of getting tired of brains, to be honest. That's nice. I just hope I'll be able to find you again, but I don't think I will. <laughs> so that kind of sucks. Ain't every day we get visitors from Riverwood. Maybe it's Despite for sale. Maybe weapons and armor. I we can buy it from him. I think I have to craft it. Yeah, here it is. I need an iron in ingot. An iron ingot. I want this one. Can I have an iron ingot, sir? You looking for a new blade? The finest weapons and armor. Spare an ingot. I just want. Uh, I think I just needed one. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now I can actually. Um, I think I need another one. I could take a look. Did I buy just one? I think I just bought one. I didn't want that, but okay. Mm -hmm. 
gonna still do one more. There you go. So now I should be able to, or maybe I have to go kill stuff. Yeah. So it requires 24. I think I have enough. Hard hitter, stormbreaker, unhindered. Wow, this is really good. I'm glad I got this. You the sneaky type? Got some nice nope, I am not. Somewhere. Let's go um, get that that tablet, so at least we have it for when we want to do the main quest. Also because I want to punch things. And I know I can punch things up here. I don't really have a goal for this. Like, I know I want to do probably the main quest. I know I need to do Dawn Guard again because I've only ever done that once. Can I punch my wall at some Sonic for punching things? Okay, yours is weird. Don't talk to me. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you should punch your wall. If you do, you might want to do like, make sure you have your hands properly prepped or else you're going to hurt your hands. Because you might like break it, like break your hand, the walls, whatever. So I guess... I don't know, I guess we'll start I'll, I guess we'll start the main quest. What's the point of punching things if you don't break bones? Yeah, but you're not supposed to break your bones. You're supposed to break other people's bones. Never should have come here. Nice. Except for I just threw her into into the uh, well you can't break yours that's gonna be expensive to fix you picked a bad time to get lost friend nice nice. I didn't realize it added like uh, animations. So that's nice. I like that. I don't like these gloves though. So maybe once I upgrade my um hand to hand I might take them off because they're really ugly if I'm being honest here I don't know how I'll fight a dragon though with hand to hand that might be a little difficult Yeah, it was me. Nice. Nice. This dude's no fucking help. What are you doing? What was, what was that at? What was that yell? That was funny. Okay, let's get in here. Let's get in, let's get out. Hmm. 
<laughs> Do you rule only fight dragons with your fists? Is that guy always here? I don't remember. Who's me? <laughs> I just one shot in them with my fists. We're not gonna use like the only um like weapon we're gonna use is maybe a, the bow and arrow, but like anything else, it's just fist, fist baby, fist time. Dude, I don't care. Is someone there? <laughs> I know, I know how this works. I don't need you to show me. And then snake. And then whale. And that should be good, right? Yep. See, I'm so I'm so good at video games. So good. I'm the best. Yeah, I'll, I'll up my pickpocketing. Um, I'm gonna go health again. 20% additional damage. This does 10 additional. Oh, health potion. You can never have too many health potions. You know. It's like I always say. <laughs> Get fucked. Get fucked. Get fucked. <laughs> you think you can do damage to me? I don't think so. Oh, that's someone's talking to me. It's just a stupid ass. Come on. Dude, I'm I'm like the best. I mean you're gonna die anyway, so it doesn't really matter. That I killed you. Because you were going to die anyways. Finally, some action. Let's go, friend. Time wasted. I don't like how this guy talks. He kind of freaks me out. Dude could not even get up. Dude, I'm too I'm too OP. I'm too OP. Imagine walking down the road and one of those frostbites dropped down from a f Oh my god, I would f I would lose my shit. I would be like, hell no. Imagine one of those big ones too, like that huge one. Just drops on down. Dude, I'm I'm too strong. I'm too strong. Oh, I didn't even need to do that. He was like, whatever. Imagine just like going into a crypt and punching zombies, basically. Just. Dude, I'm, I'm so fucking OP. This is actually f really funny to me. Nah, I don't need a sword. I, I, I have my fists. My fists are legal registered weapons. Now I'm seriously not- I'm not getting a weapon. I'm just gonna punch things. This 
go. Iron. Or I'll take that. You ever just be exploring like a, a Draugr tomb and you see some iron and you're like, oh, I want that. Like, oh, I need that. I need that iron. That iron. I've done, I've done this, this dungeon so many times, it's like ridiculous. Because I would always grab the tablet just so I could start that main quest, like easier. I don't have to backtrack. <laughs> Man, never mind the Draugr's trying to kill you. Wait, I need iron. I, I need the iron. It's useful. <laughs> Bitch. You thought you could. Sure, I'll take it. You thought you could beat me, but you couldn't. You couldn't. I'm too strong, dude. Yeah, don't you don't have to get up, it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Well it might it also might help that I have it set on like baby easy mode. So Oh, I thought that was open already. I was about to be like, excuse me? Let's see, it's bear, dragonfly, owl. Bear, dragonfly, It took three companions to haul me in. I don't know what for, but I reckon they had good cause. Okay, thanks for sharing. I didn't ask. Whoops. Now I get to do that all over again. That's a moth. It looks like a dragonfly. It looks like a dragonfly, so it's a dragonfly. Unless the owl isn't an owl and you're saying the owl is supposed to be a moth. It does not. Yes, it does. It's got a thin body and long wings. It totally looks like a dragonfly. Like, completely. By the arena. That's impressive. Yeah, well, come here. Oh. <laughs> I need to read the, the word first. It's a dragonfly. <laughs> wow. He could only get up, like... He could only stand up and then I was like, Nah, you're dead. Well, I could have found Clairvorency here for that little girl, but we don't need it anymore. That was still a great quest. I love that quest. I still think about it. Let me in! Let me in! Okay. I watched. I don't know what dragonflies look like. That's a moth. I don't know. I think it looks like a dragonfly. Moth, dragonfly, same thing, right? 
They're both fly. They're bugs. They're totally the same thing. Alright, where's the potion? Well, that's... I thought you were supposed to get a potion of, like, something or other so you can, like, jump down. It is the same. They're both bugs and they both fly. Shit. Did I get stuck? Okay, there we go. It's, they're basically the same. Alright, so I guess we'll do that quest for Finn and Deal. Finn and Dale. Whatever the fuck. Dale. Um, we'll return the stone tablet and start the main quest. Guess that's what we'll do. Uh, do you see this? I'm scared. I'm gonna save. We're going in. Oh, oh. just one shot. Just one shot. We're not going in. We're gonna go around. We're gonna go around and hope it doesn't see me. Just gonna... There you go. Cause I wanna visit the scary witch's house. I'm just a poor old woman, dear. No need to trouble yourself with me. I mean, I don't want her to get mad, so I'm just gonna not look in her basement. Well, actually, I'll, I'm gonna save and then look in her basement. Because I'm pretty sure that gets her mad. Because she's like, You found my secret, and now I must kill you. So I always like saved and then looked in her basement and then reloaded. Cause I I felt bad. Helgi Hel is it Helgi? Helga? Dear, why do you hesitate? You can feel the power coursing in your blood. You have only to reach out and grasp it. Renounce that boy of yours and come. Come li live with me in the forest. My sister will be here soon. Together we can form a proper coven and your training will truly be complete okay that does that's not like bad I mean there's some skulls but like oh we started a quest the hero was curious it was not an uncommon affliction for people his age but for Okay, but for Vice it was almost a sickness. It was the reason he stole into the witch's cabin and the reason he was reading the book now. For what were books but another kind of door? And to open them was to open a world of possibilities. In Skyrim, Vice had opened many doors like this one, and they all made the same promise. Behind it were tales of conspiracy, tragedy, valor, sacrifice, and sometimes even love. The more doors you opened, the further you descended, losing yourself in every chamber every corner of every room but alas behind this book he found neither knights nor sorcery nobles nor thieves there were no clashes between light and dark sword, sword and shield hey it's a pokemon game earth and sky all but all he found was an empty room save for a single object placed in a, the center a mirror this is not to say it was an ordinary mirror the surface was fluid almost as if it were about to spill out of its thick brass frame if it did move, it moved slowly, yet it could hardly be called calm. It was thick, cold, and, mo and most of all, murky. Now, the wise adventurer might turn away from such an ominous thing, but the curious one can't resist taking a peek. As for what Vice saw, suffice to say, he wasn't entirely sure. However, weeks later, long after he closed the door and continued his adventures, Vice couldn't help but feel 
a hint of recognition when he walked into the Wind Peak Inn and approached the stranger by the wall. What are you looking at? the man asked behind, bending his lips into a scowl. Vice tried his best not to smile. Somehow, he already knew the man's name, his occupation, and why he was sitting there. In short, Vice knew exactly what he was looking at. What he didn't know was how. Your name's Theron, I take it, he said. I'm here about the job. What? <laughs> so I guess I have to kill the witch now that we started that quest. That's... That's not an or original quest, is it? Because if it is, I've never... <laughs> Oh, uh, after the chat for the grandma, <laughs> cause holy shit, uh, I felt bad. I didn't didn't actually want to kill her. Sorry. Okay, so I don't know if that's an original quest if it, or if it was added by one of the mods. Cause I've gone in there before and like looked around and I've never. F And I've never found that um that book. Nice try. But you don't scare me. I'm not going to ask again. Uh I don't have time for this. Don't you walk away from me. Never should have come. <coughs> yeah. oh, thanks. He doesn't even have anything. So that'll be a fun quest. I guess that's the 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 big quest for the the stream is whatever that is. So I guess I'll do this one little quest over here in Riverwood since I'm here, and then we'll see whatever that quest. Excuse me, excuse me, whatever that quest is. Does it have it? Miscellaneous. Oh, I don't care. I have a paper mirror. A paper Mario? Wow, I can't believe they have Mario in this game. <laughs> Dude, I ate some sushi. My stomach is hurting. Okay, let's go find what's his face. Over here, okay. Well, I can't find him, so <laughs> I gotta do, do this quest. Where is it taking me? Okay, Dawn Star. Follow the book story to the Wind Peak Inn. Do I want to fast travel or do I want to walk to Dawn Star? I'm gonna fast travel. I don't think I have enough things to say to fill up an entire. Walk to Dawnstar. It's really dark. What the fuck? Hey, sh hey, Shady Sam. Hmm? Always fast travel. Make it quick. That's that asshole of a kid from last Need stream. Something. Sometimes I like to walk, but other times it's just like, no. You you be looking kind of cute. What are you looking at? Your face. Uh, your name's Theron. I take it. I'm here for about a, the job. Yeah, you're a bit scrawnier than the way Argus described you. But I'll be a weakling's uncle the day he tells it true. I suppose the snowbag didn't bother to tell you what the job's about either. Don't worry, it ain't a long story. Follow me. Well, uh, I found a book, so no one told me about anything. Excuse me. Then, 
Did Gore just like sniff me? I hope not. That's weird. Uh. Uh. Oh, here he is. <sighs> That's better. Gotta love that fresh winter air. Now, about the job. I doubt Argus told you this, but I used to be a bandit. Uh huh. Had a crew that numbered two dozen, not a month ago. Okay, I don't care. What's the job? We were making good coin, reading caravans, and the occasional mine. And so one of them decides he wants a bigger slice of the pie. My slice. Don't know how they convinced the others, but about six of them made rounds around the camp, cutting throats. All my men, dead as dog meat. Wolves outside must have smelled it too, because they started howling. Okay. It was the beast that gave me enough time to figure out what was going on and slip out the back way. <laughs> Funny part is, I'd been nagging the boys to kill those things for weeks. So, uh, I don't... So you didn't have to give me your backstory. I just want to know what the fuck this book was. Uh, so now you want revenge. For starters, yeah. But getting the hideout back is just as important. It's an old mining shaft. Redorin's retreat is what they call it. Though, I can't say why. Just meet me outside the entrance when you're ready. Okay. Can I follow him? Is he gonna walk stupid slow? Well, I mean, I'm ready now, so. And I don't want to risk the Brian Hammer situation where I I go there first and they never show up. So we'll uh we'll just well, actually, how far is it? Oh no. Uh, I'll risk it. I'll risk it. I'll fast travel and see what happens. If he doesn't show up, I'll be so mad. Hey, is this this one? Oh, it's the one right by, uh... Wait, where did I... Wait, where did I fast travel to? Oh. Okay, good. It looks like he showed up. Because I was going to be upset. I don't know. I don't know what the hell. Uh, I think you should get food. That's what I think. Get food. Get food. Get food. Here a nur and root. But first I want that nur and root. It really seems too much effort. Well, at least make sure you're drinking water. Like at the very least. It looks like it got to be like it's right here. Oh, yep, it really is right there. Good. You're all here. The plan's simple. We go in and kill everything on two legs. Except for the chief. I'll have him crawling on all fours. Any questions? Yeah, why did a book lead me here? Boss, I got a question. What if I had dogs? Wouldn't they be on four legs instead of two? <laughs> you idiots! Just kill everything in the cave except the four of us. Got it? That was actually kind of funny. Well, as long as you're drinking water, did you can humans can survive without food for a while. It was me, bitch. I didn't want to kill the dog, but. Kinda had to. I'll try and make it quick. 
I could survive more for a while. Oh, there's so many people here. Nice. Read volume three of the paper mirror. Welcome to the fight welcome to Fight Club. Excuse me. Excuse me. Bandits. I love killing bandits. Probably my second. Excuse me, I'm trying to read this book. Whoops, I didn't mean to take the tankard. Uh, okay, the paper mirror volume three. Theron looked at the assortment of bedrolls, dressers, just dressers and barrels sca scattered across the living quarters. The place was a mess, but not in the way he remembered. The bedrolls were facing the wrong way, the meat had been swapped out for ale, it was a bandit lair all right. The same as all the others, but entirely different. <laughs> Does this say like Talos' beard? I hardly recognize the place. Is that a sodding book on the table? He said, returning to the things he did recognize. Weapon racks, purses full of gold, and a few trophies went back from the crew as whole. Every one of these things is a story, he said, beaming like a proud father whose child had just come home just come home. Take this pendant, for example. Got off of a carriage moving a noble's family to solitude. It was locked in a safe, you see. And try as we might, nobody could crack it. This noble, he tried to bargain with me, saying he'd open the safe if I spared his blushing bride. So I said, sure, a deal's a deal. Open the safe and I won't lay a hand on your girl. Yikes. Of course, I never said it. I meant. Yikes. Yikes. Mm. Uh, can I just kill him, actually? Can I kill Theron? There's something that the way Thor Theron chortled that bothered Vice. It was a. Does that say Bestel? Bestiella? Laugh the kind of foul grunt that makes you forget he was once a man. Mm. It was the same laugh that haunted the writer's dreams. And even now, alone at his table in Castle Dower Dungeon, <laughs> it crawled over his bones. Reminding him of that horrible night, it was a laugh that shrunk his very soul. Anyway, the funny part is I couldn't pawn it, Theron continued, with a bloody inscription on the back, to my darling Cassandra. Why couldn't he have just married a girl named Helga? I hope we kill him. For Theron, there was a point to the story. It was Argus who told him the pendant couldn't be fe fenced, and it was Argus who sent him a letter the day before. The sellsword he had promised Theron would not be coming. The Nord had failed to come through once more. The question was, who was the imposter who claimed otherwise? Theron opposed the stranger, his hand sh shadowing his sword hilt. Of course, I blame Argus, he said. If he was half the fence he claimed to be, he could sell the thing for twice what it was worth. Not that I need to tell you, seeing as you used to work for him. Theron's lips twisted into a, <laughs> a rictus. His blood was still shim shimmering, simmering from having killed whatever. And now there was another traitor you needed to deal with. Wh what did you say you two met anyway? Bitch, where are you? This is creepy. Bitch, I'm gonna kill you. So I said, sure, deal the deal. Open the safe and I won't lay a hand on your girl. Of course, never said anything about my men. <laughs> yeah, I hope we kill him. I'm ready, I'm ready to fucking kill him. The funny part is I couldn't pawn it with the bloody inscription on the back. To my darling Cassandra. I couldn't have just married a girl named Helga. Of course, I blame Argus. If he was half the fence he claimed to be, he could sell the thing for twice what it was worth. Not that I need to tell you, seeing as how you used to work for him. 
Where did you say you two met anyway? <laughs> On a book? I didn't say. I don't know, Argus. To be honest, you insisted I did. Argus is my cousin's wife's uncle's nephew. I don't know, Argus. To be honest, you insisted I did. And yet you played along. Seems to me you could have just been clean then. Nah, I read a. I read it in a I book. Sent you, but either way, you can't be trusted. Now you're going to die. No, I'm not. Bitch. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. That felt good. Honestly, to kill him felt great. Felt great. At first I was like, oh, I like you. And then I'm like, mm, no, I don't. Oh, he has the second one. What does the second one say? Apparently I stole this. But, so I hope I don't. David was- I was gonna say David. I think that's David. Was always a clever one. Sharper than Skyforged steel, they used to say. And that went double for his smithing work. When Erlon Greymane fell ill one season, many of the boys joked that- I say Javid ought to take his place. You never want to follow a legend, the Red Guard quipped. You want to follow the proper- the poor fool who tries. Theron, by contrast, was a bandit's bandit. His face cut out from the s sketch of a wooden- of- I can't fucking read. Sketch of a wanted poster. He was stronger than the others, meaner than just about anyone, and would have been chief had the clans not agreed to follow the elf. <laughs> when the wood elf turned himself in, it was Javid- Javid who warned him things would go... sour. They relied on the elf for everything, from planning and coordinating the raids to rationing out the spoils. When he was in charge, they operated like a proper guild. Without him, they were just bandits. Still, becoming chief of the clan was something Theron had wanted for years. If he passed on the opportunity now, he might never get another chance. Besides, Theron suspected the wood elf was hardly the genius Javid made him out to be. After all, if he was really so smart, why did he turn himself in? The grumbling started almost immediately. The Wood Elf always knew the schedules, the number of guards, and the valuables they were carrying. Under Theron, the boys would stand outside for days in the rain, and not a single carriage would come by. Theron had also promised the men larger cuts, since the spoils weren't divided with the townsfolk. Yet, while the cuts were larger, the hull was but a pittance of what it used to be. One carriage was completely empty, save for a single book. Ooh, here we go. The night of the coup, Theron had felt asleep, trying to read that book. The first time he skipped to the end, and the part that wrote about the rope. This time, determined to read it cover to cover, he made it pa never made it past the first page. Still, the words of the Red Guard echoed in his mind, long after he had dra drifted into... Okay, so... Oh, here we go. This is where we come in. What are you looking at? Theron asked, bending his lips into a scowl. He didn't like the stranger. There was something about him that reminded him of Javid. Maybe that was a sign, but of what he didn't know. Your name's Theron, I take it. The stranger said, I'm here about the job. Ooh. So it's all intertwined. Alright, we have to find the next book. But I'm going to take all this gold, because you all suck. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. And find that book. Oh, treasure map, I'll take that. Okay. Well that was fun. That was <laughs> that was great. Uh a little sad he turned out to be a horrible, horrible person. But felt great that we got to kill him. Uh ten ten would do again. Now we just have to find this next book. See where it leads us. This is fun. <laughs> I love these quests. Let's see, where are we going? We are going to Solitude, it looks like. Find the next volume of the Paper Mario. <laughs> That's why I keep reading it. Instead of the Paper Mirror, it's the Paper Mario. Okay. Where is it? 
Looks like it's up here somewhere. Holy shit. <laughs> You're all having a party up here? Having a fun time? Cool. Great. Oh, this is the the place that was mentioned in the third book that we read. In the dungeon, he said. Excuse me. I don't care about the uh, rebellion or whatever. I'm telling you. Ulfric's planning an attack on White Run. Excuse me. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Oh, down here. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. I don't care. I'm only here looking for a book. Jesus Christ, there's a ton of sirens. I don't know if that's picking up. Wow. That was a lot. Hold on a second. Let me just see. Oh, now I can't hear him anymore, so never mind. The writer stared at the final page, the ink dripping from the quill. The fire from the hearth crackled behind him. Further down the dungeon, the guard made his nightly rounds, his boots wrap wrapping against a smooth stone. All around him, time moved, but his hands stood still, unable to place a period at the end of it all. For the first time, the surface of the mirror looked serene. In the past, every sentence would swell into a towering wave, guiding the protagonist forward. Now, not even the most violent pro prose could produce a ripple. The writer should have been re relieved. Theron was dead, and he died by the writer's hand. The bastard would never again see the light of day, but neither would Cassandra. The writer lay, lay his dagger on the table, the edge brimming with fire. Beside it, the quill lay languidly in the inkwell, promising a storybook end. Would the conclusion come with the stroke of a pen or a slit of the wrist? The writer could only shake his head. He had little trouble fashioning the endings of the other characters, yet he struggled mightily <laughs> to write his own. One last time, his hand reached forward when his thoughts turned not to Cassandra, but to the protagonist of the story. It was an old writer's habit to think of the beginning when he was so close to the end. Perhaps he thought there was another chance, choice, beyond the one the mirror presented, the same one the writer proposed to Vice as a wiser course of action, when he entered that dim cellar so many moons ago. Perhaps he could simply turn away. What does that mean? Should, does that mean I should just leave? I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. Because I don't know what to do. What is it, Kaji? What if I just left? Because that's that's what he's saying, right? That that instead of doing something. I could, that me, instead of, or maybe he's talking about himself. No one in doubt save first, right? Okay. So, he was obviously in here. Where did he go? This is crazy. This is crazy. Mm. Nothing. I just want to know, like, where this is going. Okay. I'm telling That's not the right way. Okay, I have to go down there. 
Excuse me. Right, that's what I'm supposed to do, probably. Maybe? Or maybe I'm supposed to leave. I don't see anybody in these cells. Oh, there's somebody. Hello? Are you... the person I'm supposed to talk to? I wanna try it. I'll, um... I'll fast- I'll, uh, wait for a second. Maybe they're dead, actually. Looks like a girl. Lords, Fletchers, wine, Is that a girl? Are they dead? Well, let me look at the book again. That's volume three. Such advice is a wiser course of action when he entered that dim cellar so many years ago. Perhaps he could simply turn away. Let's leave. Let's leave and see what happens. Happens. Maybe it'll give me like an update. Because obviously nobody's here. Because he must be. He has to be somewhere else. That's what my guess is. Is he somewhere else? Because obviously there's a mirror. That's like predicting the future or something like that. So we need to find him. But I don't think he's here. I think he might be somewhere else. Maybe. If not, I don't quite know what we were supposed to do. Let me just look that up real quick. Because I want to make sure I'm right. This is a really fun, like, this is an interesting quest. And I don't want to just end it. Let's see. A paper Mario. Paper mirror. Let's see. Okay, so we went there. Line four. Found next to the table. Looks like we chose the wrong dialogue. So I wonder if I do I have a s I don't think I have a save. Yeah, the only s the only save I have is all the way down there. So technically we finished it. Which kind of sucks. Because that was fun. But that's basically where the quest was going to end. Let's see what other quests they have now that I'm here. Because as much as it's fun stumbling up uh, uh, on them, I, 
kind of want to find more. <laughs> Two full quests. Let's see. Danny in solitude. Wait, where is the full quest? We did Brother and Keeper. That was pretty interesting. Mm. Actually, let's just continue on with what we're doing. Because I don't want to end up, like, finding them. So we will... We'll continue with the main quest. And we'll stumble upon them as we go. So, that's what we'll do. So that was a fun little quest. It was kind of creepy. I need to get a house so I can save those books or else the first one's gonna get um, taken off me. They're all like bunched up. What is up with that? Yeah, we can do the main quests, and we have a bunch of of DLC quests we can do. I can always try and add more quests. And infinite possibilities with this game. All this standing around is rubbish. We should be taking the storm <laughs> Okay. Where is? What's his face? Hey, I got I got this thing you didn't ask me to get. Come to Dragon Breach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warrior. Oh, uh, do I have to do like um the Helgen thing, or can I just talk to the Jarl? What's Dawnguard? I don't know. I think the first time I did Dawnguard, I chose the, the not vampires. So, I don't know what I'll do this time. I might choose the not vampires again. The Dawn Guard. <laughs> I only ever did that DLC, like, once. So, I didn't really... I don't really remember it very much. Because it was near the end of my Skyrim hype. And I never... I don't think I ever touched Soul's time. Mm. Hmm? Need something? Mm. Mm. Yeah, I heard being a vampire kind of sucks. You're new around here. So I'll go easy on you. And don't get on my bed. But then again, I didn't like being a vampire in um Oblivion either. I like being a werewolf. Now being a werewolf in this game, amazing. Ooh, the f Anything you need? What is up with your face, dude? You you're kind of ugly, actually. Anything you need? You're ugly. Greeting, stranger. The name's Shormir, and I'm at your service. Okay. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Perhaps you need your boots shined, or your tunic washed, or need a letter delivered. Okay, this dude's gonna have a shit ton of dialogue, and I don't have time for that. We got rooms, drink too. I oh, that's right. I needed to go to Helgen. I need to go to Helgen so I can start that, so we can start the main quest. I like being a werewolf because you can like also eat people. That was pretty cool. <laughs> that was really cool. If you what, you did that one- you could eat people- oh, you could also do the quest to become a cannibal? I did that. That was pretty cool. We're gonna do that, for sure. I think that was in Markov, if I can remember correctly. 
but one quest at a time. And then we get you people, and that'll be great. Any more? Oh, he got it. Don't worry, everybody. Gore is way more useful than Reigns ever was. <laughs> Thank God. And at least he doesn't talk about justice every two seconds. Ugh. Ooh, I really like this Vivid Weathers mod. I just feel so much at ease right now. So much peace. It's great. We have to hustle on up to Helgen, I think. Just to even start this quest. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Helgen. Helgen's like right here, isn't it? I heard somebody talk. What? Huh? What's this? Is this an inn? Oh, it's now it's a dojo for uh, my hand to hand. It's not really a place very well, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Hmm, I wouldn't call this a dojo. I would call this a house. Hey man, what's up? How can I assist? What do you got to sell? I already have all this. This doesn't really, I don't think that even does anything. It doesn't add anything. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, great. Thanks. For uh, nothing, I guess. What are you, a hunter? I've been hunting and fishing yep. in these parts. <laughs> I think we just have to go in or something. Because I have the Dragonstone already. Well, no, wait. Can I give it to him? Well, I'm going to go to Helgen since I'm already here. But I'm pretty sure I can just give it to Farn whatever the fuck. <laughs> Thanks. Yep. It's, uh, it's, it's fucked. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sure as Helgen, thanks. Where is White Run again? Oh my god. Did it disappear because I found Helgen? Even though I've already been in White Run a million times? Looks like it. Oh, Cicero. I guess we'll have to do the Dark Brotherhood quest just for Cicero. Even though I don't particularly care for the Dark Brotherhood quest in this game. It's kind of boring once you've played it once. That's my personal opinion. No, are they going to stop me? No, there's nobody even here. Cool. He's a funny little jester. Excuse me. Let me in. The fuck? I <laughs> I like how I've been here a million times and since I went to Helgen they locked <laughs> they locked the door. Don't know why. There is clothes with the dragons about. Special business only. 
I have news Fine. about the dragon. We'll be keeping an eye on you. You're in love with Astra and then she betrayed she betrayed you, but then she had like a redemption arc and then she died. So kinda sucks. But I do I was oh my god, when I first played the Dark Brotherhood quest in this game, I was so happy to get um Lucian the chance, the chance. I was so happy to get him as like a summon. I was like, oh my god. There he is. Best boy. Of every Skyrim game ever. I don't think you're supposed to be oh, were you? It's a shame, isn't it? Uh, tell me about this tree. This is the Gilder Green. It was planted as a seedling in the early years of White Run. Disciples of Kinareth could sense something holy in it and traveled far to hear the winds of the goddess in its branches. They built the temple. Of course. Not as many pilgrims these days. What's so special about this tree? East of here is a hidden grove where the Elder Green resides. It's the oldest living thing in Skyrim. Maybe all of Tamriel. Our tree here in the city was grown from a cutting of that tree. You can still feel the glory of the mother tree through it. Even its name is an echo. Is there any way to revive the tree? I've thought about that. Trees like this never really die. They only slumber. I think if we had some of the sap from the parent tree, we could wake up its child. But even if you could get to the Elder Green, you couldn't tap it. Not with any normal method. Uh, where is the tree? If you want the help, you'll need something to cut into it first. You'll have to deal with the Hag Ravens. I've heard about the weapon they've made for sacrificing Spriggans. It's called Nettlebane. The hags terrify me, or I would have gone after it myself. Uh, I'll get that, Horia. Your spirit is strong. Kinareth's wind will guide your path. It's held in a Hagraven nest called Orphan Rock. I think I've done this quest before. You couldn't forgive her. I felt her dying was forgiveness. Because she died. She, you know, paid the price. I could not forgive. Have you played Oblivion? Because I don't want to like spoil anything if you've not played Oblivion. Because I'm going to stream it. Hey, I got uh. Any kind of any dragons? Sadly, no. My work affords me few opportunities for such an adventure. Perhaps some hero will bring one to Dragon's Breach. Like old Olaf, one I once did. What a fascinating conversation that would be. Well, I won't. I'm not going to say anything. Because we're going to end up playing it here probably next month. We'll be playing Skyrim and Oblivion at the same time, more or less. So, you'll, you'll see it. Got news from Helgen. Here. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Sure. The dragon was sort of Helgen, and I at last, and last I saw it was heading this way. Oh, I never did go help what's his face in the cave. Maybe I should go help him. Service. I won't forget it. Here, 
take this as a small token of my esteem. Uh, thanks to the Imperial Armor, I guess. Yes, another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Farin Gaia. How about I just I go but without you and you stop talking to me? Uh, you also need a project you need help with. Hmm? Project? You think you could help me? I really don't think so. And the Yarl can be found in the great Cool. I have to wait. Not over here in a wizard's Far laboratory. Enough. I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Yarl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragon. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Well, lucky for you, I have it. Alright, where am I going and what am I fetching? Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your better, am I right? What? I uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Well, lucky for you. Oh, do you mean this old stone? Ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. You already found it. You are cut from a different cloth than the usual brutes they all foist on you. So, okay, the Dragonstone, what's next? That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind, sadly undervalued in Skyrim. Okay. Cool. And here she comes. You need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. See, this is where we can beat the dragon with our fists. Dragon. How exciting. Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If it decides to attack White Run, I don't know who can stop it. Let's well, go. I'll just punch it. I'll just punch it to death. It'll be fine. from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking? What did it do? It was flying. Father says I'm too young to change the course. So I practice with my fist. Shut up. I thought you'd have come after me for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. We'll burn it. Here let Let her gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. Yeah, I'll, I'll punch out of the sky. So you have more experience. Well, I didn't. I didn't survive Helgen. I uh. I haven't forgotten the service you did for me I in the explored Helgen. that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal arm. If you come along, I would very much... Thanks, I'll never use it. No, I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irela. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. Who just sniffed? What the fuck was that? Was it you, Gore? Holy shit. If I never saw Dragon's Reach again, it be too soon. Yeah, I kind of get that. Let's go we'll beat a dragon out of the sky with our fists. 
That'll be fun. It's been a while since I've done the main quest, so I'm a little excited. Dragon Fight Glove. Hell yeah. Shiny trinkets for I'm your lady. My boys will keep you safe. Don't you worry. Okay, I mean I'm a little worried, but thanks. Don't worry about it, guys. I got you. The first dragon seen in Skyrim since the last age. No, you're kidding. It is ours. If you're with me. Now, what do you say? Shall we go kill us a dragon? Yeah, damn yeah. right. Let's move up. Shiny trinkets for your lady. I want a shiny trinket. It's like really crows. Let's go be a fucking dragon. A dragon. Ooh, I gotta sneeze. Ooh. Hold on. Ooh. I gotta. I was racing to like mute my mic <laughs> so I didn't sneeze right into the mic. That was hard. I didn't think I was gonna get it in time. Well this is relaxing, isn't it? Some Skyrim. Forgetting your worries. Well, now, what is this? I don't know what this is. This definitely is not here base game. That I know. Hunters? I- maybe? I just know it's not typically here. Okay. I have to wait for everybody to get here. Wait an hour. There they are. Got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere, spread out. Look for survivors. You know what? I guess I'll switch to a bow and arrow for now. I wish we could wait like that in real life. I know. That would be great. Where? 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 Oh. You know what? We're just gonna... Hell yeah, here we go. ridiculous What's happening? Everybody, get 
That was so funny. Oh my god. We just killed the dragon, sir. Fine, I guess I'll use my shout power. I'm gonna be like right back. Okay. All right. Did we lose anybody? We taught that dragon not to mess with white rust. Didn't we? I cut the knee. Oh, okay. You are dragon horn. Yeah? Dragon horn? What do you mean? In the very oldest tale, back from when there were still dragons in Thailand, the dragon born to slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. Uh, I think you may be right. Yes, I think I am. <laughs> you can shout now. That can only mean one thing. You must be Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? That's right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the Dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septim himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then. Are just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the dragonborn who can kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Rila? Being awfully quiet. She's way over there. Come on, Rila. Tell us. Do you believe in this dragonborn business? Phew. Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead friend. And that's something I definitely understand. Now we know what you did. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand how to come. You ain't a nord. <laughs> you ain't a nord, okay. Tamriel, I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as you did. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting what you just did. Must be. You really are dragonborn. You should have dreams about e getting eaten by a dragon. Scary. I 
never did give that claw back to uh what's his face? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to go chat with the graybeards. Let's see what the hell they want. I remember when I first played this game, I didn't immediately, it actually took me a good chunk of hours before I even did the main quest. And then I even, and then I only ever did it once. So this will be nice to at least do the main quest a second time. I do like this weather mod. It's nice. I'm just gonna put that one on too because I want to do that at some point. hear you ma'am if I wanted to speak to a court wizard I'd go to dragon's reach uh, go on tell me more about bottles and wine Uh, may I ask your name, even though I already know it? <laughs> you seem to be obsessed with wine. different words for cold. Why the Skyfords and Farngar? If the man likes to wear jewelry in a dress, that's fine. That's fine. Don't make fun of him for it. That's fine. That makes him happy. It's fine. Doesn't matter. Who fucking cares? I don't want to talk to you anymore. 
because you're mean. Oh, was I? Oh, yeah. I have to talk to the Yarl. The Yarl. Good. You're finally here. The Yarl's been waiting for you. I want to punch you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Grey Beard. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? Yep. It sure was. The Watchtower was destroyed, but we killed the dragon. I knew I could count on Irelet. But there must be more to it. Turns out maybe something called Dragonborn. Dragonborn. What do you know about the Dragonborn? That's just what the men called me. Not just the men. The gray beards seem to think the same thing. Uh what do these gray beards want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a tune or shout. The Greybeards are masters of the way of the voice. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rungar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our- Now you're just being rude. Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragon boy. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenici. Avenici. It's just that, what do these graybeards want with me? That's the Greybeard's business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeard's heard it. They think you're Dragonborn, and you're weak, I mean, I guess. You get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeard. Climb the seven thousand steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. I didn't ask. High actually, Rothgar is a very peaceful place, very disconnected from the troubles. I wish I was disconnected from the troubles of the world. Even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Rothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. Okay. By my right as Yarl, okay. I name you Thane of White Run. This is the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal house. Lydia. And this Everyone loves Lydia. Serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would you? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business for them. Depression meal consists of Rice Krispies and half a grilled cheese. That sounds actually really good. <laughs> that sounds like something I would eat. Mmm, delicious. Look, Lydia. Hi. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house call. It's an honor to serve you. Great. Well, I'm not going to use you. Sorry, Lydia. My bad, Lydia. Well, we can tr fast travel to the Greybeards, I think. Yeah, because we, we went there for that one quest and he ended up killing himself and that was not fun. I was so sad. Yo, what up, Greybeards? It's your boy. Had at it, what at it, at at it, at at it again, at it again. Oh my god, I can't fucking speak, dude. Yo, what's up? Here I am. Oh. 
Dragonborn appeared at this moment in the turning of the age. I'm answering your summons. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. That's I hate how he said that. Taste. There, is that good? Thanks, dude. I am Master Angi. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? It's because you fucking summoned me. What do you mean? I'm, an I'm answering your summons. We are honored to welcome a Dragonborn to High Rock. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. Oh, what is my destiny? That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. That's fair. Well, I'm ready to learn. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path? Probably not, but <laughs> I'll try. Without training, you have already taken the first step towards projecting your voice into a thune. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Oh, I feel like I'm going to sneeze again. Gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einart will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting Sick. Voice. Row means balance, the dragon tongue. Combine it with hoofs, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Row. Thanks, dude. What do I do? Do I look at it? What? Oh, okay. Maybe I was too close. old man. Appreciate it. Do I have to uh, unlock that? I can't remember how I do that. No, I think I'm good. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I did that too early. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, my voice is just as powerful as my fists. Well Again. Don't really want to, but okay. Man, remember when we had to go count those steps for that one Khajiit? Man, that was fun. I wish I could be doing that right now. Master boring? This is because this is pretty boring. <laughs> this part of the main quest is never my favorite. It's so boring. <sighs> did you ever kill Parthenax? Because I never did. I couldn't. 
couldn't do it. We're gonna do this in the middle of the night? Okay. What's going on over there? Sir, he, sir, he's trying to tell me something. Yeah, he was- I couldn't kill him. I was like, no, fuck that. Yeah, give me your dragon knowledge, dude. Don't I have to equip that? Yeah. Now we will see how quickly you can master a new shot. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Oh, sorry, dude, I didn't <laughs> realize you were Wolf Now it's your turn. Okay. Stand next to me. Okay. I don't want further training. Your quick mastery of a new tool is astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of dragon I don't know how I do it, it just happens. You were given this gift by the gods for a reason. It is up to you to determine how best to use it. You are now ready for your last the horn of Jorgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb. Except we all know won't be there, so... Remain true to the way of the voice. Okay, I don't... I, am out. I don't want to hear more. I don't care. Let's see, where is this tomb? Do I even have it marked? No. Okay, where's this tomb? Where is it? Oh, here it is. No, it's over here. Okay, so I think, uh, I think Helgen might be closer. Well, anyways, I can help. What's his face in the caves? Well, it is if I could see. I can't really see, so... Well, I guess I'll be stuck in the caves forever. That's fine. I think I'll be okay. Ooh, the sky is so pretty. Let's see, do you think I can climb up there? Nope, that won't work. Roads? I don't need a road. I'll just climb. Nope, that's not gonna work. Well, I'm sure I'll find a way up there by just walking around the mountain. If I don't die, that is. Oh, here, this this looks like a way. Maybe. Maybe not. Nope. Oh boy, that's a long way down. Eat. Don't get 
stuck in the mountain. Yeah, like the last time. Uh, we can't go any further. We're gonna have to go down. Because we can't get up there. There has to be a way up there, obviously. But definitely not the way we're going. Oh wait, I found something. Whatever this is. South Skybound Skywatch. Well, this has to be something, right? I think it's something. Finally, some action. Let's go, friend. Time to waste him. Why do you sound like that, Gore? Yeah, it was me. Dude, I'm so OP right now. Uh, oh, I did not expect that to be here. Scary. I thought I was gonna die there for a second. I think I need to equip my restoration stuff. Punch him in the face. Well, I finally got um. I finally got a hand-to-hand -hand perk tree mod, so I can finally like actually do that. So now I can be really OP. Did you hear something? <laughs> Summon spiders? Ugh. These spiders, man. I don't even want to talk about spiders. Ugh. I went from my parents house for two weeks where I didn't have to worry about spiders in my shower back to <laughs> wearing, having to worry about spiders in my shower to- oh this way this way I, is this even the right way? So I don't like spiders personally especially when they're in my bathtub and I'm not quite sure if they're like dangerous or not <laughs> They like freak me out. Right. Outside, fine. Inside, no thank you. No thank you. I think I'm going the right way, but I can't see, so... So I can only hope. Excuse me? Why was a husky attacking me? What was that about? So I guess I just keep going this way. Hey, Gore, do you have a, a torch or something? I can't fucking see. Okay. Okay. Oh, this orphan rock. I think we went in the wrong direction. I, would guess, I think we went to that one quest for that one quest. Oh well. well. So we'll do that one. I think we got him. I think we got him. Oh, Jesus. Okay, now I think we got him. Yeah, I don't like killing the dogs. I wish I like there was like a tr a taming mod where I could like tame them or something, and we could be friends. Gore, you're my fucking way. Gore, you're my fucking way. 
Yeah, we did it. Thank God. I need that. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, we went the <laughs> we went the wrong way. Oh well, so at least we can do this. Yeah, I can get I know I can get one. B dies like super easy. Oh my god, sir, leave me alone. We'll take good money for information. Who wait, who is this? You're the one oh, okay. <laughs> e yeah. Your lies fall on deaf ears, deceiver. The true dragonborn comes. You are but his shadow. Okay. When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. Okay. Oh my god. Come on, everybody. <laughs> Come on, guys. I do want their stuff. Yeah, now I look cool. I can get uh, that, a uh, Barbus. But I wish I could get like. I could like tame animals. That would be cool. Do I have everything on? Boots, gloves. Yeah, that looked pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. I'd like to see him turn into Except for I think this, this might be heavy armor, but that's fine. What do you need? I want to make the Terra Online armor <laughs> that looks fucking ridiculous. Tame a spider. I would tame a bear. I would tame a spider. I would tame um, a spriggan. Oh. Those filthy yet? I found Nettlebane for you. Oh, I, well, I honestly didn't expect you to come. Back. Well, I thanks. You now, I don't really want to touch that thing, though. Do you think you could handle the <sighs> Fine. <sighs> okay. What, you, what needs Entering to be done? Sanctuary Grove is to the east of here. You can use Nettlebane to retrieve some of its sap. More rest. Was I correct in hearing that you were traveling to the Grove of the Elder? Why does everybody want to talk to me right now? Can I help you? I am a traveler, a pilgrim. I follow the voice of Kinnereth wherever it can be heard. I've dreamed of seeing Elder Dane for years. Might I travel alongside you? I promise not to get in the way. Sure, but you're going to get in the way. Uh, you're welcome to join me. And thank you for your kindness. Are you recall this quest left me with more questions than answers? I think I... I've only done this quest once. And that was forever ago. So I I barely remember it. Okay, so this is Elder Gleam. And over here was the horn. Cool. So I guess we'll go to Fort Amal. And make our way over. We need to go... I guess we need to go around the fort. At least 700 or 800 hours. So, well, you and you and Mel have a lot in common then. I played the heck out of this game. Uh, originally I had it on Xbox. I have no idea how many hours I had on that. But I played it a lot and then I bought it on Steam and played it on Steam you know, on my PC and I modded it but after a while even with mods I got 
really bored. And I and every time I would want to play it, I'd boot it up and be like, ah, I'm done. After like maybe 20 minutes. But streaming it is honestly kind of fun, I think. Uh, oh, you're hunters. Right? Ma'am, you're in... Ma'am, you are fully clothed and you are... <laughs> okay. Need something? What's happening? Iris the Elder. Excuse me? Uh, this is awkward. Excuse me? Oh, just counting the months I have left to live. I used to count by the years, and I suspect there'll come a time when I count by the days. It's a talent I have, sort of like reading palms. But I do long for the days when I never bothered to count. Introduce myself to you, child. This is definitely not an old lady. This is like someone trying to do an old lady voice. Uh, where's the name come from? Also, this lady, this hunter, looks pissed off. I was once one of two irises in the village where I grew up long before I moved to Darkwater Crossing. One was about a dozen years younger than I, just a babe when I was a girl. So she was Iris the Younger, and I was Iris the Elder. And the name stuck with me ever since. Well, that's cute, I guess. This was back on the PS3 version, so I never got the DLC until much later. So I decided to play every race with every gender combination and joining every faction. I did every possible combination. That takes some dedication. I don't think I could do that. I wish I could do that, but I don't think I could. What brings you to this part of East March? <laughs> Not the mine, that's for sure. I came to this part of East March for the hot springs. I've heard they have the power to rejuvenate. I'm not searching for a miracle or a cure for old age. Just a little more time to enjoy it. You're, ma'am, you're sitting in the hot spring with your clothes on, though. What village? We're not in a village. Uh, ma'am, where do you think you are? Uh, I'm sure your wisdom alone more than compensates the people of this village. So you're hanging out with a bunch of hunters in this uh, hot spring then, yeah? They think she has dementia. I think she's confused. Do the hot springs work? Do you feel rejuvenated? Excuse me? But I much rather prefer a good soap. What are you trying to say? All my aches and pains seem to float away. Isn't it dangerous for someone your age to bathe in hot springs alone? Except for she's not alone. She's got two friends here. The hunters discourage most of the wildlife. As does the heat from the spring. They also provide a few spirits to help pass the time. I need a bit of wine before I can get over the embarrassment you see. Okay, but you're still in your clothes. Embarrassment? These hunters, their bodies have such sheen and Ma'am. Like a marble table Ma'am, <laughs> calm down. My skin, however, is as piebald as a horse and as wrinkled as an old tunic stashed away at the bottom of a chest. May sound a bit 
Ugh. Get out of here, you bot. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Back to business. Hunters can't protect you from a dragon. I still think you're beautiful. I'm sure you're quite the catch back in them. I still think you're beautiful. Okay. There were those that were neither, and those were the ones that usually chased the hardest. Yes. But I could outrun any man. Always could, as I were the fastest courier in all of Skyrim. What? Ma'am, what? This is just rude. It must have been tough carrying all those stone tablets. I imagine couriers must be fleet of foot to escape the dangers of the road. Why don't you couriers ever use horses? Partly out of tradition. The first couriers were messengers for rebels and brigands for whom secrecy was paramount. A horse tends to attract attention, especially those of the guard placed outside the stables. The couriers of old were master pickpockets. They could blend in with the crowd and slide the missive right into your tunic as you pass them. The recipient wouldn't even notice the folded note in their pocket until they were halfway undressed and readying for bed. I see. Back then, couriers needed to be on foot. Nowadays, though, I suspect it's more a matter of cost. Bales of hay and sacks of oats cost a lot of coin. Stamina potions, on the other hand, are relatively cheap. I suspect the time saved isn't worth the maintenance. And if a horse were to die on the road, you'd lose a significant investment. But if a courier were to die, you'd easily replace Oof. him at no cost. Oof. I don't know when horses became more valuable than people, but such is the irony of freedom. Okay. Uh, what do you think of the people at Darkwater Crossing, which were not even... Okay. Sure. Uh I bet you <laughs> the portrait of Myers should not be neglected. True. And it often isn't. Not by Nords. But I wonder sometimes if when we raise a toast to the miners, we raise our cups. To an idea. The same is true for our warriors and our farmers. Uh, what do you mean by that? Spend so much time honoring some abstract notion of what a laborer is, what a warrior is, and we forget these are individual people. People with names and families. Proud Nord men and women with hope. This conversation and got, uh, took a weird turn. When you conflate them all, you forget they are many. So if you wish to honor the miners, honor them by name. Tormir and Sondas, Annika and Verna, and Darkethus too. Were he still here? Isn't Darkethus that glitched out, um... 
Argonian that you can find in one of the dungeons with Mary when he's all glitched. Is that him? What's your favorite courier story? It was evening star, two hours to midnight. Me and the other couriers were at the inn, picking snow off our boots, ready to call it a night. The snowstorm that night was the fiercest in years, huh? and the inn was densely packed. Not a soul in the East March was outside that night. Or so we thought. The door flung open to reveal a young Nord man covered head to toe in thick furs and thicker snow. The innkeeper sat him down and gave him some hot tea. The blood was only now to thaw from his nose. He began to mumble softly but Where are you going? Trying to form the words. His wife, he said, had just given birth, but the bleeding would not stop. He needed a special health potion, but the alchemist in Windhelm was out on research, and the next alchemist lived in an old shack west of Ivarstead. Of course, but the stable master had refused him. He tried to go on foot, but only made it as far as Heinz Grove. Uh, must have been a storm. It was. For a Nord to fear cold is like a fish fearing water. But this wasn't just any cold, and it wasn't just any storm. Uh, what happened next? Not that I actually care. A woman, but one of conviction, took to bleeding on his behalf. She went to warriors to sell swords, but none would lend an ear. Such effect on the table. He scolded them. This man's wife is in Candlehearth Hall, fighting for her life. And he has not the strength to go on. Who among his fellow Nords will lend oh, hands so good. in his time of need? Is there any man here willing to risk his life for a cause that is noble? The others shied away. But I stood. I am, I said. And without another word, I rushed out the door. I didn't know what pushed me more. My desire to prove myself, or my fury at the cowardice displayed by my fellow Nords. Maybe a little of both. Regardless, I braved the elements, the pounding snow and the unforgiving cold to retrieve the potion and return to Windhelm. I lost a toe that night, and I still can't feel all my fingers. Hmm. And for all my efforts, I wasn't even paid. But it was payment enough to see the face on the man's wife as she held her newborn. Oh, uh, great. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for telling me that story, I guess. That, uh, went nowhere. I was hoping maybe she would have a quest. But she didn't, so, oh well. On, on we go. Uh, I hear a dragon. There's one, right there. Let me save it real quick, cause I might die. We're gonna go punch this dragon in the face. On. Why did it land all the way over there? Come here. Oh my god, are you serious? There's a dragon! Don't Guys, this is a dragon. Seriously? You're gonna pay attention to me and not the dragon? I have so many enemies, holy shit.
Yeah, there we go. There we go. That was worth it. Don't to say anything. What's going on over here? That's what I want to know. Oh no, no, I don't want to know. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit, I don't know what that is. And I do not want to find out. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> A restless drawman skeleton. No, thank you. That thing looks scary, and I don't. I don't want to be killed. So we're just going to go back into this cave. Oh my god. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh my god, is it still following me? I sure hope not. Where's my team? Where'd they go? Okay, there's one. Did the other guy die? Yep, guess so. Oh well. I'm still here in the rain. I think the other guy just died. I think he he ate it. Hello there, friend. You come to enjoy the sights and sounds of this musical sanctuary as I have. Truly remarkable, isn't it? Uh, sure. Okay, I really want to go see if that dude died. Like, honestly. <sighs> want to save it? Because I kind of want to fight whatever those are, too. They look scary. I just want to see if I can find that dude's body. If he's dead. I don't know where he is. I mean, to be fair, uh, he didn't think I was going to be taking him to fight a dragon. Oh. Please, you have to help me. I was attacked by a vampire. Do you have a potion or something that can cure this before I turn? I don't think so. 
Uh, what did you miss? Uh, I fought a dragon. Um. And I saw these new enemies, and I went to go look at them, and they were scary, so I, I ran away. Here, I'll show you on your map so you can stay away. Please, if you can help me, let me know, or get out of my way so I can try to find a priest. Sorry, I can't help you. Get out of my way. I have to get to a town and find a priest. Go, dude. See, uh, here's the dragon that I fought. And there are, there are enemies over here. And we lost one of our guys. What are you fighting? What are you doing? They were over here. Yeah. Here they are. These things. Oh, okay. Uh. And then my game just crashed. <laughs> Holy shit. No joke. It just fucking crashed. Luckily I saved right before I... <laughs> so I, I'm not too mad. But I have to boot that up all over again. Mm. Whoops. Didn't like, uh, something. Let's try this again. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe I was running away from them thinking they were, like, so scary, but then they're not. I could easily beat them. There we go. Okay. Okay, let's try this again. I'm trying to find that one dude that was like, let me come with you to Elder Gleam. But I think he uh, died. I think he died. Because I cannot find him. I'll do this again. I thought for sure they were going to be a lot harder because they had like that epic music that you know they always play for uh, strong enemies. No, I don't have anything for you, sir. Sorry. Sorry. They get out of my way. I have to get to it. Okay, I'm gonna save it again. Just cause. Find a priest. Okay, here's the. He was here. He was with us when we fought the dragon. But then when I ran away. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, dude. Oops. Oops. Oh, well. Okay, let's see if that'll happen again. I hope it doesn't. Oops. Come on, get up, dude. That wasn't that hard. That wasn't that bad. And now it's... <laughs> okay. Well, now that we know what happened to the, the guy, uh, we're not going to go over there and fight them. Even though the when I went to fight them the first time they weren't that hard but okay alright we'll stay away for now but we'll be back oops I wanted to know what, what he how he was involved with the quest though but well I can't do that now can I unless I cheat but we don't cheat on this stream so we'll just go on, I guess. And see what that one dude wanted. I 
I mean, I don't, I don't trust this place. I don't trust that dude. I feel like I want to be attacked. Oh, it depends on the course I take with the tree. Like, if I'm really nice. Oh, hey, what's up? Ashta. Amazing that such beauty could exist in a place as desolate as the volcanic tundra. What is this place? You are an elder glim sanctuary. Just a small glimpse of what beauty Kinneret has to offer. Wonderful place, isn't it? And that tree, is that elder gleam? Yes, my friend. Though no one has been able to get close to her for as long as I can remember. Uh, why not? As you can see, Eldrigleen's roots are large and stretch far, blocking any path to her side. Though, believe it or not, there are rumors of a weapon that even Eldrigleen herself would lift her roots for. More out of fear than respect. You mean this weapon? The rumors are true. I beg of you, don't harm the tree. Nothing good can come of it. So, basically, if I don't hurt the tree to get the sap, I can't bring the tree and white run back to life? But everybody doesn't want me to hurt the tree, so... I don't want to hurt the tree. So, what should I do? I'm going to save. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save. I can bring it back? Excuse me. Thank you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Wait. Wait, I don't know if I wanted to do that. So... Is there a way that I can do that without hurting the tree? Should I have talked to somebody first? Because I don't really want to do that. Oh, so I, I need that guy. Wait, I need that guy though. I think I think I can fix this. We're gonna cheat. I need that guy, though. So I'm gonna have to use console commands to I think revive him. Cause I need him. Cause if I I think if I have him he like offers an alternate plan. Unless this dice does. Welcome to Elder Gleam Sanctuary. Don't come any closer. I don't want Kinnereth to think I'm on your side. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna cheat <laughs> and try and bring that guy back to life. Cause I didn't realize one he could die and two that I actually really needed him. Oops. So otherwise, if I use the weapon, they kill everybody in the sanctuary, and I don't want to do that. So, we're going to do this. Hopefully I don't die when trying to get him back. Let me just find the console command for that, because <laughs> I don't know it. Oh, so I just have to type resurrect. Okay. 
That's all I have to do? Okay. Oh, you're the Dilla Stendar. Who's right here? Okay. You ate brush teeth. Hey, you know what? I'm, I'm so proud of you for doing that. Is that how you spell resurrect? Or is it resurrect? Is it this? No, I didn't. I can't spell. How do I spell it? Resur. Wait, did I spell it right? Hold on, that might not be the right one. Oh, that's one. One S, not, not two. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I couldn't figure out why it was spelt wrong. I'm like, why is this spelt wrong? It's. What are we going to kill today? Yes, yes, I haven't got them. Forsworn, Imperial, Stormcloak. I was like, I, uh, how, I, how is this spelt wrong? I'm like, oh, uh, one S, not two. There we go. Now that we have this guy back with us. Come on. We can do the quest proper. Because I don't want to kill the tree or whatever. Kill people for the tree, you know. People to die. I don't want that. They always fall behind. So I'll wait a couple hours for them to catch up. Good, everyone's here. Nice. Nice! Now, we can finish this quest without killing everybody in here. Won't that be nice? Because that sure would suck. Imagine being in here and some guy comes in and just starts, like, attacking your tree and then you die. Okay. Well, maybe he won't say anything. Maybe I'm just boned. Are you gonna say anything, dude? There we go. No idea you were a man of violence. What exactly are your intentions in this blessed place? I need sap to fix the other tree. You would violate this marvel of Kinnereth's glory to fix that half-breed stump in White Run? That's abominable. Barbaric. I'll have no part of this. Why didn't you tell me what you intended? Ah, uh, do you have a better idea? Well, yes. There is something. It won't repair the tree back at the temple, but we could bring them a new one. Ah, uh, what did you have in mind? Follow me. I think I can convince the tree to help us. 
Okay, you get the other way, Gore. Sorry. I'm supposed to follow you? Right? There you go. The Elder Gleam has blessed us with a saffron. You should take it to White Run. Danica will want to see that the true Danica, like Danica Patrick. <laughs> not a slavish maintenance. Uh, what will you do now? I believe I'll stay here and bask in Elder Gleam's warmth a bit longer. Good luck on your travels. May Kinneret's wind carry only the sweetest scents. Okay, thanks for your help. Appreciate it. Glad I didn't have to uh, kill anybody for that. That makes me feel a lot better, actually, so... Alright. Let's get out of here and, and travel to Whiterun. Whoops. Wrong way. Yeah, me too. That's how I feel when I run. Ugh. This was <laughs> this was fun. We fought a dragon. Um, actually, got accidentally got him killed, and then we had to revive him. Great. Absolutely amazing. This is the best game ever. Back to White Run. Very productive. We started the main quest. What do you need? We did some little side quests. You know, it was good. And now I'll give her the little sapling. Excuse me. Oh, here you are. Uh, I have something better. I have a sapling. But I can't run the temple without the support of people who are inspired by the Elder Gleam. How can this little tree bring new worshippers? Uh, Marie said that the renewal is more important than the than maintenance. I, you're right, of course. It can be hard to hear the winds of Kinareth when all you hear are that rabble in the temple. Death feeds new life. I'm sure that in time, this little sapling will grow into a new gilded green that will tower over white run. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. Grace of be with you. That was nice. So, when I go out here with that tree be gone, it'll be a little sapling. Because that would be cool. Nope, that sucks. Boo! Boo. Okay. I think that's going to be it for today. I think I'm done. Uh, tomorrow I'll play some Pokemon. Tomorrow evening. So the next time we play Skyrim we'll hit more of that main quest. But uh, thanks for uh, sticking around. It was fun. It, this was a lot better than last night's stream. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.